Let's simplify the given logarithmic expression. So here we'll begin by using a property of logarithm. That means if we have a times log of b, so that's the same as log of b raised to the power of a. So our first term becomes log of 5 squared plus the second term becomes log of 64 whole raised to the power of 1 third. That means we have log of 5 squared which is 25 plus log of so here this is the cube root of 64 so q root of 64 is simply 4 or also we can use the rule of indices that means 64 is simply 4 cubed and if we raise the exponent of 64 is 1 third so this will be 4 cube raised to the power of 1 third and simply 4 raised to the power of 3 multiplied to 1 third so 3 multiplied to 1 third will be 1. So that means this gives us 4. We got the same result. Now we will use another property of logarithm, which is log of a when added to log of b. This is also the same as log of the product between a and b. That means our two terms, they are like terms. They, they are like terms because when the base is not provided, it's by default considered to be 10. So the base is exactly the same so that means they are like terms and we can use this property to get log of 25 multiplied to 4. Now 25 multiplied to 4 means that we have log of 100. Log of 100 so that's equals to log of 10 squared. Now we'll be using another property of logarithm so that means oh, no, we don't have to use anything we have already mentioned this property here so that means we will get 2 times log of 10. Again, I've already mentioned that the base is by default 10 and this value is equals to 1 log of 10 with a base of 10. Here, the property being if we have log of a with a base of a, that value is equals to 1 and in our case, a is equals to 10. So that means the final value or the simplified value of a given logarithmic expression is 